course, those storms eventually made their way over here to southern Arizona, but we're past all of that. For now, For absolutely. Now. Yes, we are heading into a bit of a drying trend after what has been the soggiest start to any February in 26 years for the Tucson area. In just the first 11 days of the month, we've received nearly one and a quarter inch of rain. You have to go all the way back to February 1998 to find a February that started even wetter. And that storm system that brought us all that rain, high elevation snow, it has shifted into the southeast. Take a look at our latest radar. You can definitely see the Memphis area picking up some snow from this, but out ahead of it, more severe weather in terms of those thunderstorms. In fact, where you see the dark green and the yellow here, that means nearly 29 million people under the risk of severe weather tonight as a result of that storm system. It's amazing what a storm can do when it has a different mass of air to work with. We were just talking about the winter storm that's moving into the northeast. We have winter weather advisory in the purple winter storm warnings in the pink and they're impacting 14 states as that storm system continues to shift to the northeast. Bird's eye view across the country though will start to notice more of that zonal flow. That's what we call a directly west to east flow across Arizona in the four corners. That cool air will stay across the northern tier states. That west to east flow is a dry one for us and it tends to be a warm one and that's exactly what we're going to notice this week. Until this storm system that you see, or you are already eyeing that up, aren't you? Just off the coast of California. We'll talk more about that in just a bit. In the meantime, I hope you love the 70s. They're making quite the comeback for our Valentine's week. 70 tomorrow, 69 on Valentine's Day, 74 Thursday, 73 for our Friday. In the short term, 38 degrees tonight. We will have some of that frost again developing by early morning. Not quite as chilly as what it's been. Oro Valley 37 for you, Sierra Vista 34. 433 in Bisbee and with those patches of frost, if you don't have the benefit of parking under a carport or a garage, you might want to give yourself an extra couple of minutes tomorrow morning to scrape the frost off your windshield once again. We'll warm in the afternoon though, 70 degrees. That puts us one degree above the normal mark. So finally coming back in line with where we should be, at least with those daytime temps, 63 in Wilcox, 69 in Green Valley, 63 Sierra Vista and 66 in the Nogales area. Area. Here's a look at that TEP Clean Energy report boasting 401,522 homes powered by the sun and the wind as of 12 o'clock. There's a look at your seven day forecast. Clear skies through our Friday. We do see a few clouds moving in over the weekend, but staying on the warm side. Oh, I love seeing all this.